Windows is bad because it's proprietary spyware. EXT4 is proprietary shit most systems don't use nor recognize, so try again. Anyway. Do you use Google services? Are you or have you even attempted to reverse engineer your hardware down to firmware levels to remove backdoors? Do you trust literal nobodies with your data that could still be seized by governments? Do you really believe VPN companies don't log you? Do you think the free OS you use comes for free? Let's be honest you're a brainwashed Muppet who doesn't give the slightest fuck about privacy. If you want real privacy go live in a shack in the woods and read a book. Windows is bad for gaming. It's bloated and slow. 1. Windows has different editions and versions. If you bought decent hardware it shouldn't be an issue and yes current out of the box Windows sucks if you use it and complain later you're a moron. 2. Windows has official NVIDIA support and does not have to run games like TF2 in OpenGL mode. 3. Most games do not have Linux versions and thus have to be emulated anyway. Windows is not customizable. Although Windows 7 was the last toss best for customizing to the core later editions still feature easier customization than Linux does. Depending on what distro you use themes will apply to certain elements and not others and generally speaking look worse than custom Windows 10 themes. I couldn't even find a simple options box to disable shadows like I could on every version of Windows. And since 99% of Linux users have the attitude of a 12 year old snot nosed kid good luck even getting help from other Linux users. It's easy to install stuff on Linux. It's easier to download than executable and click a few buttons. Even gives you full control over what you want to do with the software and allows you to use older versions of it. You're just a slave to Microsoft, stuck in your ways refusing to do anything different. Yes, I refuse to use an OS that gives me no benefit and only inconveniences me. Not wasting my life away typing out commands instead of clicking buttons. Not having an overall worse experience playing two decade old games and emulating the rest. I am truly a slave to Microsoft. But, hey I'm sure the shrinking developer and PC user pool is a good indicator people are really reaching for that primitive Linux experience and not a tablet, phone with big buttons.